In the years following World War II, the United States enjoyed a period of remarkable economic growth that included the expansion of domestic travel, thanks to the construction of the interstate highway system, as well as an increase in personal car ownership. However, most Americans still relied on public transit to get to work and make their way around town. And like everything else in Jim Crow America, public transportation for African Americans was segregated. Jim Crow was about separating the races. Some of the Jim Crow laws involved what they called separate but equal, but it really wasn't. The city of Winston-Salem in North Carolina knew all too well the separate and unequal reality of their public transportation system. There was no local bus service to the east side of town, which is where African Americans lived by and large. But we wind up seeing these jitneys organizing into a transportation system that is remarkably successful and efficient. The jitneys, small buses or cars used as shared taxis, filled in the gaps of the larger public transit system. But without the support and infrastructure of the city, traveling by jitney in Winston-Salem was a risky business. City residents often filed complaints against individual drivers, citing unsafe driving practices. Jitney operators even filed complaints against each other, accusing other drivers of stealing fares. And so the mayor impressed upon the community that they needed to find some way to work together. In response, some of the most successful Jitney drivers pooled their money and formed the Safe Bus Company in 1926. The Black-owned company would go on to serve the Winston-Salem community into the 1970s. Desegregation led to the eventual decline of the Safe Bus Company, whose mission was to meet the needs and ensure the safety of black people in America. Mm -hmm. 